Hello everyone, it's me Esteban again, and I'm back right now with Hollinger's reviews for you guys today. Today we're going to be looking at from Hollinger's Dino Charge, Toys R Us exclusive, 6 pack. Left to right, you can see the Go Ranger, Go Ranger's Megazord, Dino Drive Red Ranger is Dino Drive Mode, Graphite Ranger, Vivix, and Megazord. I already done a review for the first pack, you can check that out, and it comes with another exclusive weapon, the Gun and Sword Mode. So yeah, I'm going to do the Megazord, take off his sword, articulation on him is head, side to side, arms, go all the way around, go out like that, hands rotate, let's go forward, feet articulated, side to side, bend in the knees, go out, go straight up, and back. That's pretty much his articulation. And the John can go a little bit more. Detail and paint is pretty good. Nice red, nice silver, nice black. No paint on the back, but it still looks good. And he comes with his sword right here. And yeah, I'll put it on him after this. Here's Graphite Ranger. He's the seven ranger. Articulation on him is head. Goes all the way around. Arm bends. Go the way around as well. Hands and arms to rotate. Bend in the knees. Both legs go straight up. Side. Side to side. And the feet and leg do rotate on both legs and feet. And go back. So yeah, that's pretty much his articulation, and his armor does not hinder him. Detail and paint is pretty good. Nice gray, nice silver, nice stash. Like the package sword and on his helmet as well. Nice gray, nice gray, nice gray. And he comes with translucent weapons like the Dino Dry Red Ranger. So I put him right there. And here's his translucent blaster. So yeah, let's do the Vivix. The Vivix, the only been in this pack. Head, articulation, head, side to side. Like this. Yep, side to side. Go all the way around. Hands and arms, hands to rotate. Bend in the arms, bend in the knees, go straight. Both legs can go out. The feet do rotate. And yeah, pretty much that's it. Articulation, I mean paint in detail is good. Nice gray, nice brown, nice green on the head. Nice cutter back there. Yeah, a pretty awesome figure. Alright, three more figures to go. Uh, okay, you know what? He doesn't want to stand me now. I sent him up. Here is Dino Dry Red Ranger. It's a power of form. His, his head can also go all the way around. Sorry guys, hang on. Yep, his head can go all the way around as well. Both arm pads are removable and go open and hands and arms to rotate. Bend in the arms, bend in the knees, both go straight, side, being like to rotate, being like to rotate, and bend in the knees, like I said, straight and back. That's pretty much him. He's basically the first figure in armor and trench boots and weapons. But nice, nice armor. Nice armor on the back. And nice T-Rex symbol on his armor. So yeah, that's basically Dino Dry Red Ranger. Here's Go Ranger. The Sixth Ranger. He does not go all the way around because of the collar. Then in the arms. Hands and arms to rotate. Bend in the knees, go straight and back, and the leg and feet do rotate on both legs and feet. Detail and paint is pretty good. Nice gold, nice Telazord, nice stash and helmet, nice gold in the back as well. And no paint on his weapons, and his morpher is removable. So, yeah, that's the Go Ranger. And finally, the last figure of the bunch is the Go Ranger Zord himself. Head. Go to the side, hands to rotate, bend in the arms, 
bending the knees, go straight, toe articulation, and side, and the feet do rotate. So yeah, that's pretty much the Go Ranger. Megalos articulation, paint in detail. Nice go, nice go, nice go. So yeah. So yeah. That's pretty much everything to these figures. Now I do a quick size comparison with other Ponytus figures as well as something that I was saying on guys. He does not understand. Okay, here we go. For a quick size comparison, here they are with a the current show still going on, Ninja Steel, as well as Ninja Super Steel or something like that. Here's the Steel Michael Force Red Ranger mode. This is the one that started this new 5 inch scale. And you know how he does not understand either, so his 2017 movie. So it is in good scale with these guys. Uh, here's a villain from Ninja Steel with Khan. He looks pretty good with these guys. And here's Super Mo Red from the Sam Super Samurai. And here's a Kamen Rider Red. So it's not good with Kamen Rider Dragon Knight Forge figures or Forge Samurai figures, but it's a good scale with Whip Khan. And finally, to end it, like I always say in my, these videos, I'm also a fan of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Here's the Michael Bay incarnation. And here's the 2012 incarnation of Raphael. You can see the Michael Bay version is a better scale with the Megazord and the Rangers than the 2012 version. My final thoughts on this set, I really recommend it. Good detail, good paint, good articulation, good poseability. Uh, check Amazon, eBay, Big Bad Toy Store if you can still find this set. You can't get that weapon while getting these guys also get in a pack. So check those places. I got plenty more Pollingers on the plenty more Pollingers on the way, as well as Ninja Turtles. I really recommend this set. Thank you all for watching this review. Like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. I'd be happy to get to them. And yeah, see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.